you have literally no idea how long I've been waiting to film this introduction because it is so noisy in my house at the moment and I am studying on my landing as per usual which means I hear literally everything but hello if you are new here hi my name is Tara welcome to my channel and if you're not new here welcome back it is the weekend before my mock exams and i know the mocks don't really matter if you don't know how the irish schooling system works we have mock exams usually in february they don't really matter they don't count towards anything because we don't do any predicted grades or anything usually and they don't really count this year either but there's still exams and it's also two months till the actual exams because it's now april so i'm kind of a little bit stressed hopefully this weekend will be productive i made a plan of things that I want to do which you probably saw in some of the clips earlier but there's a lot to do and the exams are really soon as in like in two days so I've got a lot of stuff to do my first few exams I have English paper one on Monday maths paper one on Tuesday and politics on Tuesday and then I have history on Wednesday so those are the subjects I'm kind of going to be focusing on today I don't have to take every exam because of the accredited grade system that they've put in place because of covid but i'm pretty much sending everything except for french as i've said countless times because no i'm just not sending french so that's really fun for me so yeah i'm sending everything else but those are my first few exams so that's what's going to be on the agenda for this weekend so yeah i'm just going to bring you through a bit of what i'm doing this weekend hopefully you'll be very productive and hopefully you'll be able to study along with me i don't know when this video is going to get up because i'm really going to have no time to edit it but anyways uh first of all i'm doing some maths because yesterday i was supposed to do maths and i only got to do like 20 minutes of it so i need to catch up on that we're doing calculus and integration and then later on we're going to do financial maths and patterns paper one Finger fingers crossed that goes well because maths is not my strong suit anyways let's get into it So we are going to plant a tree together because I promised that we would do that. So I'm just setting up the planting room or whatever it's called and I'm going to pop it up in my story so people can join which is very exciting. This is like the first time that I've like done this. Basically if anyone leaves and the tree dies too scary hopefully that won't happen okay i just popped that up there i really hope people don't leave because then the tree will die but we'll wait and we'll see if anyone joins oh why is the reflection so bad okay yay we actually have people joining which is fun i posted the code a little bit late but yeah that's fun that people are joining and i'm still studying maths so we're just gonna keep going with that and we're going yes a good few people joined so that's really fun for us I've done about two hours and 15 minutes of work and I'm like still not even done maths yeah there's a lot to do maths is probably my worst subject so it takes a lot of time and also higher level maths hello that is a lot of work I definitely need to do some more maths but first I want to take a break because I'm hungry I need some food I'm gonna go downstairs and get a snack and then we'll get back into doing more maths <laughs> oh it's gonna be a long day And now 
work, I'm going to do some politics to switch things up a bit before I get back to maths. You know, I'm going to vary it a little bit. What I'm doing at the moment is, basically yesterday, I started this key thinker revision clock. So I have three key thinkers left to do because I'm basically just filling in a segment for each key thinker with things I know and then the stuff that I don't know. So I need to finish that. And I'm using my beautiful flashcards. I love these. These are like my favourite flashcards. I think they're so pretty. Yeah. Anyways, that's the plan right now. change of scenery don't you also it's so sunny outside and my desk upstairs has literally no natural light coming in so we are going to sit here i've brought everything down with me in my lovely fluffy care print bag from little bits shop on instagram handmade sustainable love it but i brought all my stuff down it was set up down here oh focus and look out at the beautiful sky and do some study I'm gonna go back to maths now because i just finished doing the politics I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh my god. It's only like a quarter to two. takes it out of you, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're about four hours and 20, well, not about, we are four hours and 22 minutes in to the study and it's 25 to four. I think I need another break. I think I'm just gonna go and walk it aside for a little bit. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, still much to do. Finish with maths now for the day. We'll do more maths tomorrow. I still need to go over pulse lock data and theory and stuff. That won't take too long because there's actually not that much to learn for politics for me. And then I want to go over... What was it? Oh, then I want to go over the language genres for English Paper 1 for the comprehension because I'm planning on doing question A instead of question B, so I want to go over that. And then I want to go over like the traits of a speech because I'm hoping that a good speech will come up on my Paper 1 exam on Monday and that I'll be able to do it because the speech is definitely my strong point for the composition. So I just want to go over them. It's a productive day, I'm not gonna lie, but there's still more stuff to do. So we gotta do that, but also we gotta take a break because I will literally fall asleep if I don't take a break. So I'm gonna go move my pack. I'm taking one of my Lindors from my Easter egg as a snack. I live right by the sea. I don't know if you can see it there, but the sea is there. Wait, when we come up here, there she is, the beautiful sea. It is so peaceful here. This is where people come to uh, drink in the field sometimes, but I kind of like it. Look at the fabulous decorations on that wall. I love it. It was kind of nice to just come down here and have a look at the river and the horses. If you can see them, I'll zoom in in a second. Yeah, it's nice. It's so sunny. It is 
17 minutes past 5 so just enough time to get the language genres done before my dinner i'm so tired but that walk really woke me up i found a really nice little stream and like i've been there before but i went to this nice little stream and i found a little ledge to sit on which was fun and i also popped into aldi to see if there were any squishmallows because i saw on tiktok that they had them in aldi in the uk so i was like maybe they have them in ireland no brexit fucks us up again i know i know so sad I kind of underestimated how much stuff was left. I thought there was less things left, but I forgot that I wanted to do history as well today. I was going to do more Pulsock study today than the like 30 minutes I did earlier, but I think I might just leave that the rest of it till tomorrow because I do have two written here as well, which means like Sunday. Adapt, overcome, and now language genres. <laughs> had dinner i took a bit of a break as well before dinner and i have two things left to do i always try to not study past 10 o'clock because i just cannot work when it's too late like i get too tired so we've got like two hours two things to do probably will get them done and i haven't really scheduled that much stuff for tomorrow so if i don't then i can just do more stuff tomorrow which is grand i have to or i don't have to but i want to map out all of the history essays that's what we're doing and then final thing is bit of comparative study so unnecessary because paper one is on monday for english and the comparative is obviously paper two that's my very last exam so it's in like a week and a half so yeah that's the plan but like it's eight o'clock i think it's time we get into something a bit more comfy much better yes i live in my uddy don't come for me it's cozy okay let's get into some work look at all my little trees this has been such a productive week, oh my goodness. Like I never usually study that much, but mocks are coming up. I have a ridiculous amount of history flashcards. Like sorry, this is not okay, there's so many of them. Sunday. Yesterday was really, really productive, but it got to about like half nine and I was just completely dead because I'd done so much. Usually I would definitely not study that much. I also think I should add a bit of a disclaimer, like it is literally the weekend before I mock, so that's the only reason why I'm studying so hard. I usually do not do half as much as what I have done this weekend. And obviously time is relative. I try not to tie myself to the amount of time that I need to study for. I usually write a list of things and then I take as long or as little amount of time that it takes to do those things, you know? Like, I'm not saying like, oh, I need to study like five hours. I'm saying like, no, I need to do these two things. And if it takes five hours, so be it. But if it takes like an hour, then that's great too. I got it done, that's good. But anyways, it is Sunday. I'm gonna try to have a bit of a more chill day than yesterday. I know that this video is productive weekend video whatever but i think productivity comes in so many different forms it's not just about working or studying or doing revision being productive is also looking after yourself and getting aside and you know just self-care and stuff that is productive so i want to do a bit more of that because i need to be in the right mind frame for the exams tomorrow like if i don't get enough sleep or if i'm feeling stressed out i won't do as well in the exams that's just how it is so i'm going to try to do a bit of that later on this evening but i do have some things that i need to do today first and i think i'm going to start with politics probably i don't know we'll see <laughs> 
peculiar imagination and selective memory. You've replaced all the ugly with folklore imagery. You replaced all the monsters with princesses and chivalry. We just can't have people with my I wish I'd all fit in with my map, but, you know, it's not too bad. I'm loving the color scheme, though. Okay, I've done like two hours of politics now, so that's me done for politics this weekend. I have English, maths, and some history to do. But I'm going to take a break now and get something to eat, because I'm hungry. It's another lovely sunny day. Oh my god, look how fluffy this clouds look. It's so sunny. Since it is so sunny, I think it's the perfect day for a smoothie. Misplace the blame. Forget all responsibility. spare key. Blissfully lost my problems during two days of festivities. Blissfully left the real world using pill form make-believe. Went to a place with high contrast that was new to me. Full dynamic okay. reset. Hello everybody, it's actually been quite a while since I've updated you verbally of what I'm doing. I haven't been as productive today as I would have hoped I would have been, but I've still gotten like a good bit done. I've done about three and a half hours, but it's like half four, which isn't great. But anyways, I still have two more things to do. I want to do EBQ stuff for history and I want to practice some math paper one stuff. And then this evening I want to read a book, which I haven't done in literally forever. And I want to read a book to relax, but also to prep for English paper one, because I feel like that's just the best way to prep because it will help me with my vocab and stuff like that and just get me in the zone of writing and all that jazz. Basically what I did was I did some English work and then I went out with my mum quickly and got a hot chocolate which was really nice. Nice take a break as per usual, you guys know the drill gotta take those breaks but yeah now i'm back and i'm going to get stuck into some maths i need to have a shower but i don't know if i want to do that now if i want to have one after dinner but yeah maths is the next thing on the agenda so let's get it when using the camera do this or use these sensitive to temperature check the subject's luminosity sensitive to criticism be gentle i just okay, might dinner now. i just did like an hour of maths and I've decided I'm just going to scrap doing history today, I just don't want to, I don't have time and I'm just going to keep doing more maths and then I'll do the reading thing that I talked about earlier. But yeah, dinner time now. And I'm sorry, I haven't really vlogged that much today. Yesterday was so intense, but I mean, it's pretty much the same as what I did yesterday, what I'm doing today, so. Okay, so I just had dinner, it was really nice. We have roast dinner every Sunday with my granny because she lives with us, so yeah, it's top notch, lovely bit of stuffing and gravy. 10 out of 10 would definitely eat yeah so i just wanted to tell you how i'm feeling about my mock exams like obviously the navy sir is still another two months about away so obviously there's still time but i'm feeling pretty good with where i am for most of my exams i think english i'm in a pretty good place I'm pretty happy with that. Maths is always a difficult subject for me, so there's still a lot to learn. So that's one I'm feeling less confident about. At the moment, I'm not feeling very confident with Irish because I've just spent the past month working on the oral. So I literally hadn't looked at any written stuff until last week because my oral was last Friday, so, and I hadn't looked at it for like a month before that. So I'm not feeling great about that one, but that's expected, so I won't be too mad about the mock, and I think I'll be able to pick it up for the actual exam hopefully. History, still so much to learn. Feeling better because we only have to do two essays instead of three, but still not completely like great with the information, not great with the specifics. So I'm definitely gonna have to work on that. Biology, I'm feeling great about biology, but that's always been a subject that I've put a lot of work into, so I'm really feeling like I'm reaping the rewards of that at the moment. And then for politics, it's my favourite subject, so we're pretty good with that as well. Yeah, so there's still bits to pick up, gaps to fill in but i'm not too pressed about it for these exams because like only the mocks and i know they are only two months out from the exams so they will be a good indicator but two months is still a lot of time and i'll still be able to pick stuff up i hope they go well i'm sure they will but i'm sure i'll do a video updating you about them in the future maybe a mocks predictions mock results then leaving her predictions video you know if that's something you guys want to see or maybe that's a lot of pressure for you guys let me know down in the comments but yeah gonna do some more mocks now Let's go. So 
sorry if it's loud, but what can you do? I just finished going over maths. Well, I didn't really finish it. I decided I'm gonna leave applications of calculus. What's the other thing? Applications of calculus, financial maths, functions, and the end of algebra three to look over tomorrow night because my maths exam isn't until Tuesday. And those are kind of the ones that you probably get the most long questions in. So it'll probably be good to look over them the night before the exam. But I looked over everything else, pretty good. Let me just show you the aftermath of my math study. Like I know you guys often see very nice aesthetic, clean desk, whatever, over on the Instagram, go follow. But this is the reality of study. Yeah, my LED lights stopped working again, cry me a river. We love, we love a good mess. There's about four books underneath here. Also, can I just show you the progress of my notes? So many people are like, I can't make aesthetic notes. Like, I wish my notes looked like yours. Like, how can I get my notes like yours? Whatever. Obviously, aesthetic notes are not like that important or necessary. But I'm going to show you what I progressed from. So this is literally start a fifth year. It's just basic notes. Like I'm pretty sure most people just take their notes like this. Now we do have the, the green and the red. Different coloured pens. That's probably a bit up from maybe what other people might do. Highlighters. I don't know. I love that. Okay. Then I will show you what we progressed to. You're not ready for these. These are the notes that I started taking during quarantine last year. When I started getting into the study gram. Yeah, I was trying really hard with the calligraphy and the colours. Not not my finest work. So guys, if I can improve my handwriting and my calligraphy this much, you can as well. So now we have started sixth year. It's, it's looking pretty good. You know, we got the colours. The calligraphy has definitely come on a lot. We love that. Very nice. And these, my friends, are my most recent notes. Yes, we have come so far. They are beautiful. If anyone tells you you can't make your notes aesthetically pleasing or that you have bad handwriting or you can't do calligraphy or lettering, you can do it. Just takes a lot of practice and doodling and time. But I think they make my notes look pretty and it makes me happy to study them sometimes, which is more than most times. So <laughs> that's pretty good. Also, yes, I have five notebooks full of maths notes. Well, not all of them are full, but I do have five books with maths notes in them. Don't come for me, okay? Maths is a very heavy course. Higher level maths, she's got a lot to do. Anyways, guys, I think I'm pretty much done for the night. It's like nine o'clock. I'm gonna go to bed at 10. My exam, my first exam is tomorrow. I hope it goes well. I think, I think it will be. It's English paper one. I like English paper one to some degree, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, oh my goodness, wish me luck. I mean, you're gonna see this after my mocks come out probably because I won't get this edited in time for this to come out before my mocks end. But yeah, wish me luck because I definitely need it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I think the only thing that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna read a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But thank you guys for watching this i hope this helped you get some productivity running through your veins a bit of motivation to study please again remember this is all relative to me what i need to do i obviously have exams tomorrow that's why i'm studying so much i usually do not study this much i don't feel under pressure to do as much as i've done this weekend i seriously i usually never do half as much as this and remember guys breaks are important look after yourselves self-care okay yes Okay, go take breaks. Go take a break, okay? So you deserve it. 14 hours of study in one weekend. Oh my. Oh, P.S. If you want to hear more from me, go follow me on Instagram at Topical Tara. Post loads of cool stuff, really fun. Go follow me. I also have TikTok, less fun, but still same at Topical Tara. And I also have notes for sale, all in the description below. H1 notes, they're really pretty. I love them. Okay, bye 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 bye.